Hey, everyone. and just a sort of practice as a as a habit in life you know practice anything that's a practice is something that we do consistently right and I think what was coming through is there's a kind of there's a sense sometimes and I think that this is partly we become more acutely aware of it when we're in a phase of our life where something either feels painful or something feels off, the rougher times, the times when everything doesn't feel like it's flowing and magical and easy and light and all, you know, everything is sweetness and light. When we're not in a phase like that, then it's, it's easy for us to feel like things are going in circles. Life is just going in circles with these, and, and of course it's on some level actually true emotional level, if we're in our ego, then our emotional experience is going to be a circular one. It's going to be a high and then back down to a low, and then it's going to take us back up to a high, and then it's going to take us back down to a low. And, and as we, over time, become aware of this, it's like we just become more conscious. We become kind of like, if we can detach from our ego enough to observe what's happening instead of just being in it, we start to see that that's what's happening. That's what's happening to our ego. And from the point of view of the ego, this is a massive problem because the ego doesn't want to go through cyclical emotional experiences. The ego wants to feel good all the time. And so this, this recognition of, you know, I mean, in the, in the Hindu tradition it's talked about as the wheel of samsara, the wheel of manifestation, anything in the world, anytime we're living in the world. Self that is that unmanifest dimension. From that point of view, it absolutely doesn't matter that our ego is stuck on a wheel because the unmanifest dimension is not stuck on the wheel. The unmanifest dimension is completely free. It's free of the wheel whether we're feeling great or whether we're feeling shitty. It does not matter to God consciousness to the absolute to the infinite whether or not we feel good whether or not we think we're headed up or think we're headed down none of that seems to kind of matter Well, 
it's my experience that practice not only does it bring us into contact with the fact that we're that our ego is going to continue to go through this kind of cyclical experience of ups and downs and then that's just kind of part of life that's just not something that we get to choose whether or not it happens even the greatest spiritual teachers talk about this is the nature of reality but what it does give us the ability to do is a to see it to witness it and to know we are not the thing that's going through this cyclical journey we are not that thing there's an aspect of us that is our ego our manifest identity but we ultimately are not that thing and that can be a tremendous relief especially when you're headed on that downward slope of the circle and things aren't looking so good it can just be nice to know this isn't really me there's a much more fundamental and essential aspect of me that's free of all this circles that just go like this round and round forever practice turns that circle into a spiral so now we're moving we're sort of ascending we may go back through the lows and highs we may go back through experiences of pain and pleasure and uh, whatever you however you want to think of it you know the various dichotomies of manifestation the various kind of like aspects of what we go through as a as a as a manifest being but we go through spirals and, and and each time we come back to those lows each time we come back to those highs every time we go through a revolution we're in a slightly different place well now we're talking about evolution right now things can change And that cyclical nature, rather than being the wheel of samsara that we can't get off of, and that the whole goal is to just avoid by, by removing ourselves from the manifest realm, well now we have the option of understanding that those cycles are going to happen, but each time they happen, they're going to be slightly different. We're in a slightly different place. We're ascending a spiral. Any number of people talked about this as, a, as the evolution of consciousness in an ascending spiral. And to me, the linchpin of all that is practice.